Rightio guys, so the wagon's gone off the paint. Um, with all this coronavirus rubbish going on, we're a little uh, restricted on what we can do. So we might do the uh, wrinkle coat red rocker cover. Let's have a go and see how she turns out. Wax and grease remover. And we're using the VHT high temperature wrinkle press. Um, from what I've read, this is the better stuff to use. So it doesn't gall the tip up. So this is what we'll use. Okay, so lightly dust it on. You gotta shake it real well, this stuff, it's pretty thick. Um, you only gotta dust it on and then you add more and more every time you give it a coat. When you first start applying it, it, it just comes out flat. It doesn't give that wrinkle coat effect. So after every five minutes, you give it another coat until you get the desired effect. So the more and more you spray it, the more it gets that wrinkle coat come through. And there it is all finished up. Looks pretty badass. Okay, so the Series 2 A6 block, uh, it's already drilled for the oil mortar lines. So this one here is your oil in. That's your oil return. This is your water return. And around here, which tees in off here, is your water in. Okay, so we're going to work on the exhaust today. Um, it looks like someone's maybe had a cap bolt seize up and they've hit it with a grinder and gone a little deep. So we'll, we'll fix that section up. Um, and it's been chopped off the diff for some reason. So we'll, uh, we'll chop that off and I'll just put a 90 on it and just put a turn down the diff for now. Uh, the plan is to do like a three and a half inch from the turbo back. Uh, this is three inch. Um, the dump pipe's also three inch. So we'll just, we'll roll with this for now because it's what we got. And with all this coronavirus stuff going on, money's at a bit of a bit tight at the moment. So we'll, we'll roll with this and um, see what we can make out of it. So let's kick off.
Okay, so we got our exhaust all finished up. Uh, give it a good clean up and a bit of paint. Uh, welded a 45 on the back of the muffler, so it just ends at the diff. Um, I do plan on doing a full three and a half inch from the turbo back, but you know, at the moment we're on this Corona lockdown thing. So, you know, we're just doing what we can with, with what we got. So got uh, cleaned up a lot of the welds on the, um, the dump pipe that come in that deal. Um, it's turned out quite well. So we just need to make a cap delete section, join it all together and uh, we should be sweet. So this is the can I used, the VHT high temp. Um, it's 1300 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty high temp shit. Didn't really need to go this high. Could have used the engine paint, which is 500 degrees, but this is $2 dearer, and you know, chances are it'll probably last a bit better. So, turned out quite good. Okay, so got a few more goodies for the VL turn up. Um, this is our Link ECU, it's a uh, G4. Basically, they pull it apart, put it inside the VL computer. Um, I bought this second hand, um, scored it for a bargain price, so it's not very old. But um, they put the G4 inside this, um, and this is our Lambda sensor, or wideband sensor, whatever the hell you want to call it. So it's all being wired in through here. Uh, we had all that option, so this should give us a fair bit of tuning. Um, here's a tuning table. So all our boost control and all that will be wired through this. Uh, we are keeping the single coil and distributor just because I like the look. I think it's a, it just looks cool. So a few more bits to add to the pile. 